how do you really know how to set the threshold on a compressor? How can you really figure that out? It's like, it's all very well just moving this dial around and saying, oh, that looks good. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll have that. Or oh, let's move it down there. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> no, that looks terrible. Um, how can you really figure out where your threshold should be? Um, because every recording is different. Every recording is created at a different volume. Uh, it's got different EQ. It's got um, different spikes. Like, look at this huge spike here. That will definitely affect things, especially with your attack and release times. So how can you sort of get a ballpark figure for your particular piece of audio, not a kind of a one size fits all. Yeah, set your threshold at minus 20 dB and forget about it. Um, well, a good way to do it, again, is going back into amplitude statistics over here in the top left. Um, and I did demonstrate this earlier. You can pull it up by going to the window menu and hitting amplitude statistics. Then you want to scan all of your audio here. And it gives you a clever little figure here, uh, which is called average RMS amplitude. Okay average RMS amplitude, and it tells me the average amplitude of my audio, my entire podcast, is minus 36.29. Let's call it minus 36 dB. Aha, so that gives me a clue that if I set my compressor at minus 36 or around there, maybe up or down a bit depending on how it sounds to my ear, if I set it at minus 36, I'm going to be hitting the average amplitude of my recorded speech. Therefore, my compressor will work. And if I set it there as well, gets me to my second point, ratio, I won't have to set that too aggressively um, because I've already found a sweet spot for setting my compressor. So let's take that figure of minus 36 and see how it affects things. Affects amplitude and compression, single band compressor. And I'm going to set the ratio to one so the compressor doesn't work. And then I'm going to one to one, so there's no compression. Then I'm going to go minus 36, let's be OCD, minus 36.29, the average, or oh, minus 36.3. Now, ratio is the next thing to focus on. That is how much audio will be compressed, crushed by, um, when it hits over minus 36 dB. Um, so, now, forgive me, because I'm not the best at maths, but let's keep the figures simple. Say you set the threshold at minus 20 dB and some audio went louder than minus 20 dB by 10 dB. So that audio was hitting a constant, let's call it a constant, of minus 10 dB. If you set the ratio 2 to 1, it is going to compress the audio that goes above the threshold by 2 to 1. So essentially that 10 dB that went above minus 20, that 10 dB will be compressed 2 to 1, meaning you will lose half the audio. So 5 dB will, will be the the compression limit, if you see. much It would be much easier to draw a diagram right now. I'm using fingers. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, again, if I, if I do it four to one, that's going to be four times compression on that 10 dB, uh, meaning it will go down to uh, two and a half dB over minus 20 dB. I hope I've got that right. <laughs> Maths has never been my strong point. Uh, but you get the idea. The more you crank up the ratio, the harder the compressor is going to work. <laughs>